I'm about to head over to the Jaffa Flea Market, which is actually one of the most visited spots in all of Israel, with close to 3.5 million visitors a year. Now, I'm going to join the Shuk to Sheik tour with two of my favorites, so let's get started. How are you? Oh, How are you? I'm so Thank excited. So tell me. What are we doing on the Shuk to Sheik tour today and what are we looking at right now? So Jaffa and the flea market specifically is one of the hottest places to visit in Israel right now. Uh, it has been for the past few years, but recently since the development of the market with chef restaurants, boutique shops, uh, many activities to do here, we're right now in the clock tower which uh, symbolizes uh, the center of the city. It was built in the year 1900 and actually transformed this, this uh, city from a religious uh, destination, yeah. yes, specifically, to a more secular or civil society that instead of uh, telling the time of day by the muazin or the bells of the church, you have a clock giving you the time every half hour. There's no religion to a clock, right? That's what we said. Off to our first stop. We're walking into space number nine, fairly new, original reconstructed arch, and right across from us, this ultra-modern shopping center. Uh, there are galleries, there are boutique cafes, there are restaurants. Amazing. So this is pretty much the epitome of your tour, right? Yeah, it's from showing Shuk you guys, exactly, from Shuk to Sheik. This is the, the original, you know, original stones that make it look authentic and make it look like the old Jaffa. And then you walk in and it kind of looks like a shopping mall. That's, yeah. So this looks like one of those places that you're not really supposed to sit at and you're just supposed to look at. Can we sit? I think you're supposed to sit on right. it. Why not? I like feel uncomfortable sitting on this artistic chair. You feel very comfortable. It's uh, art for the masses. <laughs> We can't bring one of these home. <laughs> I would destroy it. <laughs> Maybe just the hat. Maybe just the hat. I am in heaven right now. This is fruits. Heaven. It was all right. Now, Space Nine was really cool to check out, but I wanted to see the real Jaffa Market. Now, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I did hear that a really famous TV show was filmed in the alley that we are about to walk in. We're in the heart of the Turkish Bazaar in the flea market district. Uh, a very typical alley to come and uh, do some antique shopping, some uh, uh, galabia. I saw Levi jeans. I saw Levi jeans. There's everything of everything yes. here in a very fair price. Yes. But also, this is actually the location where they filmed uh, the series Homeland. And uh, I'm no Hollywood actor, but at least I can show you around yeah. this bazaar very nice. Let's go, let's go. I love these horns. <laughs> Hold up, let's take a closer look at that. All right, so this is like the most authentic place that I've seen here yet in Yafo. Absolutely, this isn't typical Tel Aviv. Uh, it would maybe uh, remind you of some markets in Jerusalem, Definitely. but also some antique shops maybe in London, in Paris, flea markets. You can, you can find here things that you couldn't find anywhere else. Walk around a vintage shuk, you don't have to ask me twice. We passed by a perfume shop that actually custom makes your own perfume. Perfume, it's our invisible accessory. Something that helps us to tell our story, but it's not visual. It literally got to the point that I needed to be removed from the store. Manuel, we are out of time, we need to go. <laughs> the first place to make this area what it is, the chic from our shuk and chic. Yeah, We're gonna go into the Pua Delicatessen. Trust me, you're definitely gonna wanna stop at Pua, which is a unique old-fashioned cafe right in the heart of the flea market that opened in 1999 and actually recently opened up a deli right across that I had to check out. Beautiful Israeli cheeses. We have some kashkaval, some manchango, some homage that is made with olive oil, local, of course. Meanwhile, this is really where my head's at. You think they'll let me out of the store like this? Please, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Yeah. Yay. Dip in olive oil. Have you guys ever seen me go to a food store and not buy something? I have a problem. At this point, these two tour guides know me pretty well. If you 
start giving me food, I'm just gonna want more. As we promised, a modern take of a traditional local cuisine. We have the masabacha with spicy okra, with um, some tahina, of course, we'll study in Israel, and some beautiful tomato paste. It is fantastic. Stop making me wait, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're jealous, I know you are. Hey, cheers. <laughs> wow. Come, come, you have to come check this out. What are we about to look at right now? Because this looks It needs stuffed. no introduction. It is Palestina, Eretz Israel, Old Israel memorabilia. It's beautiful. Let's have a look. Have you ever seen so many things in your life. You guys not, may not understand where we're at right now, but you have to come here to experience it, to feel the authenticity of it, to see how many thousands of different things that there are here from old times, way, way, way old times. And Abba, this is your place. <laughs> this is so crazy, there's so much to see here. Let's keep going. tell you about letting me shop. <laughs> oh my god, whoever wore these is blind. Where has this been all my life? From now on, no one enters my house without this. So guys, we are at the literal flea market right now, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the part that puts the flea into flea market. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, we're gonna have a look around, maybe shop a bit. I already have four things that I wanna buy here, four to 10 things that I wanna buy here. I'm a shopaholic, so you can't control me. But I did wanna say thank you guys so much for touring Keep me around in Yapo, and we will see you guys next time we do a really fun tour around the city. Let's finish up the Jaffa flea market tour. I have my cheeses in my hand, of course, and we're heading to one of the oldest ports in the world, which has actually served fishermen, merchants, all different types of immigrants for thousands of years, and we're gonna go show you around.